Thanks for joining us today. Happy spring. You might be wondering, what on earth are seed bombs? Well, they're soil mixed with seeds rolled into balls that are ready to germinate in all kinds of green spaces from your backyard to boulevards. Well, plants and flowers are wonderful, but they can also provide beneficial habitat for butterflies and bees. And why might we want to do that? Perhaps you've seen the decline of bees and butterfly species in the news recently. Flowers like black-eyed Susan, coneflower or echinacea, sunflower and herbs like rosemary and sage attract and feed pollinators like bees and butterflies. In order for a plant to produce food and reproduce, it needs a pollinator to carry pollen from one plant to another. We can cultivate biodiverse and beautiful green spaces by helping pollinators build a healthy home in our ecosystem by planting seed bombs. If you'd like to learn more about gardening and pollinators, stay tuned for our book list for additional resources and information along with our 3D printed plant starter bonus. This is a fun ecology craft for children of all ages, but supervision by somebody older, like a teen, parent, or caregiver is highly recommended. So, for this craft, you will need a bag of organic soil or potting mix, equal parts clay that is air drying. We had ours kindly donated by the Nanaimo Ceramic Arts Studio and Gallery a bag of seeds that are uh, suitable to your region, a spray bottle with water, a mixing bowl, and a large container for drying your seed bombs inside of. So to get started, we are going to mix equal parts of our soil and our clay in our mixing bowl. So with our clay soil mixture, we can then, step two, add our wildflower butterfly blend seed. Uh, and these seeds are um, local to our region. You're gonna get your hands nice and dirty, um, again, by blending the seeds in with the soil and clay mixture. So no need to wash your hands, uh, because we're just gonna keep working the soil and clay in with the seeds. So we're going to add a couple of handfuls of seeds into our blend of soil with clay. So that should be about enough seeds. And we're just gonna keep working our clay and soil in with our seeds. So we're just gonna be working our butterfly blend into the soil and clay. We wanna make sure that it's evenly distributed. So step three, when, now that we have blended our soil and seed blend, um, so we've mixed our clay and soil, added the seeds and worked the seeds in evenly into the clay and soil blend, we are ready to begin turning our mixture into balls. So we're gonna make the seed bombs 
the round rolled seed balls that we'll be ready to plant. To do this, we're just gonna take a small amount into the palm of our hand. We're gonna make sure that we get a good amount of soil in with it. And we're just gonna roll it up with our hand. And then we are going to place it into our handy container for drawing. I keep rolling them into balls and putting them into our container to dry. So once you have rolled your soil mixture with your seeds into balls, you'll have seed bombs and you'll place them into your container and put them in a warm place to dry for 12 hours. I've evenly distributed mine. This is what your seed bombs will look like once they're dry. No need to bury them, just water them and plant them in any green space. Get your 3D printed plant pots printed in the creativity comments. We can print them for you and you can paint them. Follow the link and find some great reads for children and additional resources for beginner gardeners. Thanks so much for tuning in today.